So once you've found your collections of something, you need to make a tally in your book, okay? Now I've already drawn mine up, because I know you guys have done this before, in the past week, okay? So you need to make a tally in your book, okay? So I've done mine on my pens that I have, okay? So remember, these are fives, okay? So after the four strikes, you need to put a line through the middle to make five, okay? So once you have your tallies and counted all up the different categories, so I had silver pens, blue pens, yellow, uh, sorry, white pens, and pink pens, okay, you need to count them all up in the different categories. Then you need to find the total, okay? So the total is very important. And I'm going to show you why later on, why the total is important, okay? You need to put it in your bar graph, okay? So you will need to find the total of each category and then you'll need to draw your bar graphs of each category to the number of the total, okay? And I'm going to show you how you do that now. Okay, so once you have your tally, okay, you need to have this sheet for your graph, okay? This is for yellow group, okay? And once you have that, you also need a ruler. Then you'll need different coloured textures or pencils, okay? This is for your graph. So I've got four different colours for my four different categories, okay? You need a different colour for the each different categories that you have, okay? So you might even have six or five, so you will need five or six different coloured textures or pencils, okay? Now I'm going to categorise them in their own colours, like that, okay? I'll show you. So the first thing you need to do is we need to write a few headings around, okay? So the title of my graph is my pens, okay? I might actually do that in a different colour, okay? So, my pens, okay? So that's the title, okay? So it's important to put a title in a graph so people know what your graph is, okay? Then we're going to go down to the bottom and it says collection of, okay? Collection of. We need to say what we're actually collecting, okay? And so this is a collection, as you probably already guessed now, of pens, okay? So you need to say what your collection is, okay? So if you've chosen books, you need to write in there books, okay? So that's... That's your collection. Okay. Then we're going to have a look at the side down here. Okay, where all the numbers were. Okay, so remember what the numbers were? Yeah, they were the total number of each category. Okay. So in the side one, I need to put in total of pens. Total of different coloured pens, okay? So I need to write different coloured pens because that's my category, isn't it? So different different coloured pens, okay? So I know that's a little bit tricky to read it's a bit hard to write inside but so you'll need to turn your page around, okay? So that's a total of my different coloured pens, okay? So in each category. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can draw your bar graph in each one of these, okay? But first, you need to write each one of these categories down in this little box here, okay? Remember? Remember in the last, um, in the last lesson, you had one of like these, a little bit different with all the lines, and you still had to write in the different colours. Remember that? Okay, so you need to do the same here. So I'm going to put in the first one, silver. So this is my different categories. So silver pens. So I've got my silver pens. I need to write in my blue pens. Blue pens. Notice how I'm using the same colour over there. Then I've got my white pens. Now white I'm just going to use black. 
No, because it's a bit hard to write in white. So, white pens. And I've got, lastly, my pink pens. Okay. My wonderful pink pens. Okay. Right. So now that I've got all my categories, I've filled out uh, my other parts. I've t told you what my collection is, the title of what we're looking for, and the title. Now we can start creating our graph. Okay. Oh, that hurt. Don't try that at home. Okay, so now we need to have a look at the total first. Okay, of our silver pens. So we'll start in this one here. So silver pens, we had a total of 12, didn't we? Okay, so when we had a total of 12, we need to have a look at these numbers here at the side, don't we? Okay, and this is where you'll need your ruler. So you need to find the number of the total. So mine was 12, so I'm going to go up to number 12 here, okay? All right, then, then you need to grab your coloured pen, or coloured texter, or coloured pencil, and then you need to grab your ruler and go up to that number, okay? Then you're going to put your ruler across like that, okay? Just where the number is, just sort of above the number, okay? So I'm just going above, slightly above the number, okay? Then I'm going to roll a line in the first rectangle, okay? So the first rectangle like that, okay? So see how I've got my little line there, okay? So I've got my little line just above the 12, okay? Which is just slightly high. Okay, so I've got my little line there. And that means I need to colour in all this box here, okay? So I'm going to colour in this box here. Okay, colour that all in. Okay, now I'm going to show you what it looks like after it's coloured in, okay? But I'm not going to colour in just yet because that will take a long time, okay? But I'll show you the final product or when it's finished, okay? So once you've coloured all, all in, okay? That little box, little rectangle there, or the big one I've got, okay? That means I had 12, okay? So I had 12 in total. Okay. Then you need to go to your next one. So I've got blue pens. Now, again, I need to have a look at the total, don't I? Okay, so seven. So you need to grab your pencil or texter that's coloured, a blue one, and then you need to grab your ruler again, okay? Then you need to go to the total on the number. So my total was seven. Okay, yep. So I'm going to grab my ruler again. I'm going to go slightly higher than the 7. But this time, I'm not going to do it in the first box. I'm doing it in the next box, okay? Because the next box is where the blue pens are. Okay, so I'm going to do another line just there, okay? Alright. So, can you see my line? Which, if you go across is in the seven, isn't it? Okay, so that means seven. Okay, so once you've done your little line now, again, you need to color in your box. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna, again, color that in later on, because otherwise this video go for a very long time and you'll probably get bored okay so I'm going to show you it later on what my graph looks like I bet it's going to be look, looking pretty and I bet you can make yours look very pretty too okay so now that I've done my blue one I need to do my white one and again I'm just going to do it in black because it's very hard to do it in white okay and it wouldn't look very nice if it was in white okay so I need to find the total Again, 
Okay, and then I need to find my total on the numbers here. So my total was three and three. Okay, so again I need my ruler. I need to rule it across where the three is, just here. Okay, I'm just going to go above it. And I need to remember, I need to go to the next box because the white pins are in that box. Okay, and then I'm just going to rule a line across there. Okay. Now again, I can have a look, I'll go across, and it should be in line with the three. Okay, so, I need to just colour it in the end, okay? Alright. Then, once I've done that one, I'm going on to my last one, okay? So now, I need to find a total again, which was two. And I need to grab my ruler and find two in the numbers up here where the totals are, okay? And I need to put it on two, okay? I'll just slightly above it and then do a line in the next box, okay? And make sure that line's nice and straight, okay? And there's my line. If I'm trying to line it up, it means two, okay? So then. I'm going to colour mine in, okay? Right. Okay, and then I'll colour that in later on and show you, okay? So, remember, you need to use the total, okay? So for each one, individually, you need to start with one, and then you need to Look at the numbers down here, okay? So these are the totals, okay? So remember, mine was 12 for silver pens. And if I look at 12, I have my line there, don't I? The top of my line. And then that is all coloured in because that was how many I had. 12, okay? For, and then for another example, my blue, my total was 7. And I needed to find 7 on the side and draw a line where seven was, okay? And then colour the rest in down, okay? All right? So let's see if you can create your graph and colour it in, okay? Using the ruler to help you, okay? Good luck. So once you've coloured in all your bars and made your bar graph, now it's time to collect all your graphs that you've done over the week and compare them all with this one and the rest of them, okay? So compare them all, and see which one you think's the best, and which one you think is the easiest to read, okay? So the easiest one to understand, okay? So have a talk at someone at home, and see what they think, and see what you think, and have a talk, okay? And thanks for watching.